Hey guys, this is Veron from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So, I hope you guys have been doing well. I know I didn't post a video two weeks ago and I also just posted a bonus video the last week. I haven't really been drawing a lot lately. I think I've just, I've just hit this like, um, yearly art block, annual art block. Um, I'm slowly starting to get out of it. As you can see, I'm drawing something. Uh, it's a fan art, but still, I'm drawing something. So, maybe, hopefully, I'll start getting back into my groove again. I'll get back into like drawing and producing art regularly again. That's my goal anyway. So, let's jump into it. So, today we are doing a fan art for the series Fate or Fate Grand Order. Um, just that universe in general, and we are drawing Ku Hulen. Um, you may know him as Lancer in Fate Stay Night, um, Blue Lancer. Uh, he also appears in Fate Extra, Extra CCC, I think, and also Extella. He's the Blue Lancer over there. You will also see him in Fate Grand Order, the mobile game. Um, we are actually drawing one of his spin-offs, quote-unquote, his one of his versions. We are doing Ku Caster, wherein he is a druid um, that uses runes to fight instead of his usual gay bog. So, the reason I chose Ku Caster was because he's... If you've played F-Go or Fate-Go, you actually would be very familiar with him since you encounter him at the very first chapter of the game, that being Fuyuki. Um, there, for some reason, in, in a sort of alternate timeline of sorts, he isn't someone as a lancer, but he is someone as a caster. He is also, I think, the first free servant, or free... I think he's the first servant to get out the story. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure, actually, anymore. It's been a while, but yeah, I have Ku Caster, Best Bro Ku, um, I don't know, like, Best Bro, Ku, Ku is Best Dog and Best Bro. He's a really supportive and cool character, to be honest. He acts a bit like your mentor, or like, not really mentor, he acts like a big brother to you in Fuyuki, so I really, really love his caster servant, but I do love his dancer too, but whatever. <laughs> So there are currently four Kufu runs in the game in FGO. We have the original Fate Stay Night Lancer, that's your um, vanilla Lancer, I guess. And then the one you can also most commonly get is another Kufu cast Lancer, not caster, another Kufu Lancer that is his prototype version, so it's the same series or spin-off where you can get Arthur Pendagon, Mail, um, you can also get I think Perseus there? I'm not really sure anymore. Either way. So you have Vanilla Kuhulan, Prototype Teenager Kuhulan, you get Kukaster, as you can see him right now, and then in E Pluribus Unum, you get, or you encounter Kufulan Berserker, so Kufulan Alter. So that's his Berserker form corrupted by Maeve. But yay, yeah, you get so many doggos. And then I think I saw this banner in JP, I think a month back, um, where they're gonna do a fishing thing for Lancer. I'm not sure what that's gonna be about, but it looks fun. So art-wise and video-wise, I uh, maybe as you can notice, the video is a bit more brighter than my usual videos. I've been messing around a bit with the camera settings for my recording app. Again, this is just on my phone, so it's nothing special. But I played around a little bit with the um, white balance because I felt like all my videos looked too dark. Even though when I view them on the screen here, doing everything it looks fine. I feel they're a bit too dark, so I brighten them up a bit using the app itself. Actually, even darken this a bit, honestly, 
and added a bit more contrast because it looked too flushed out. So, post processing stuff. Um, the art wise, it's tip- my typical watercolor. Oh, um, the style is my typical watercolor, but I actually didn't use lines this time. I felt like using lines would make the piece look really, really heavier and much more darker than what I intended to be, given that I already want the background to be super dark with the foliage. 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 With the foliage. Man, my brain's mush. Um, since the background is gonna be dark, I didn't want there anything else to make it even look darker. So I skipped the line art, but I do a little bit later on with paint, but that actually makes it that's more blended in than, say, a fine liner. So we are using, as you can see on the screen, the Pima Confections Watercolor Complexion Set, and we are using the Sakura Koi Watercolor Set. Actually, as I'm recording this right now, and when I upload this since this going up the next day, woo, cramming. <laughs> um, what is it saying? Yeah, um, I hope everyone's alright. There's gonna be a super typhoon called Ompong or Mangkut, I think, internationally. Uh, it went to Guam and wrecked havoc. I hope everyone's okay when this video goes up. If you are, if you need help, I can't really do much from here, but um, please contact your local authorities or um, like radio stations. They usually take in requests for people who are stranded. Uh, please, if you've been advised to evacuate, please do evacuate. Uh, from what I know, America currently is also undergoing a really huge hurricane right now. So we're going through this at the same time. So. If your authorities have asked you to evacuate, please listen to their orders. They know best when it comes to this. It's a hassle, but it's better than being dead or, you know, like being picked up by the wind and shit like that. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are going to be okay. Please stay, stay safe and dry. My area, I historically, has never flooded, so I think I'll be okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Please just... Be ready and stuff, you know? This is the first Category 5 typhoon the Philippines has ever had. And that's sort of scary <laughs> to deal with and to think about. Category 5. Jeez. And then here I realized that I'm just gonna jump back into the art after that typhoon morning thing. I sort of realized that he was leaning on nothing and that I drew nothing for him to lean on. Like, that's exactly what I said earlier. But like, he's just in midair, so I decided to give him some branches to lean on instead. That covers a little bit of his cloak and a little bit of his hair. And. <laughs> It worked, I think. It, it blended in quite well. Doesn't look like I just completely messed up and forgot that he was supposed to be leaning on something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here's the preview. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoy this type of content, please do subscribe. <laughs> please do consider liking the video or subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of fan art, original art, watercolor. Traditional art, digital art, whatever, stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, follow me on the social media stuff right here if you want to see more whips and random stuff. And I will see you around. Stay safe and dry, please.